G'day folks, beautiful day outside, time to go for a fly, take the jab out. But first, just run you through the uh, flaperons. Hope you enjoy this one. Okay, flaperons are hung. Got to get used to, you know, I'm used to aileron flaps or flap aileron, but now it's just one part flaperon for the purpose of building. Looking at the plans, C75 ZA5, 19mm uh, block. I made up this 19mm block for my clearance. I also made up these guys, um, and I'll show you where they go in a minute, but basically where you see where I'm going, onto the trailing edge. So you need two of those, I broke one, um, for mirror image, left and right hand. And the plans clearly show the construction, if you like, of the um, pivot pin or bolt, AN3 bolt, that goes through. The arm itself on the aircraft is drilled out to quarter inch and 3 16th on the um, little stubby L angles that go through. The plans also show there's a minimum there of the minimum here of 8 to 12 mils from the end. Um, but I'll show you that installed on the aircraft. While we're looking at the plans, the other thing is this um, reinforcing pin or plate which goes on the inside of the fuselage pointing outwards and connects up to the uh, forward pivot hole at the tra trailing or the root of the flaperon with the main input rod going in here. So I started with the inboard flapper on and when the flaps up or roughly neutral the 19 mil goes in there and will run along nicely so you get your 19 mil slot I would recommend starting with your aileron um, one issue not issue but you can see I think all Zenus have it because this outboard training edge overlaps the inboard you get a, um, a bulge in the training edge so I've gone from 19 mil, and it's still with tolerance, down to 17 mil on the outboard side. The offshoot of that is, you know, why can't I drop it down any further? If you have a look up here, um, the arm is almost up against the, the skin of the wing, so I physically can't go down any further. Now with these uh, hinge bolts, if you like, um, Viking Engines put out a video that explains it really well. So the bolt needs to be tight. It gets tightened against the L angle that comes out of the flapper on. So the bolt and the bush and everything is tight to this L angle. The bush spins inside the arm. The arm has a quarter inch hole, check your plans, and 3 16th hole in this guy. I marked out here, it's got, a cut, it's got a nylock on it, so you can see I've marked it. So it doesn't rotate in the sense that it follows the flapper on, but it does you know, rotate with movement. Um, but you can't spin it by hand, if that makes sense. It gets a little bit confusing, but the bolt and nut is tight, the clamps down on the bush couple of washers either side of this which stops all your play so good that's all nice at the inboard end I've installed this pin here temporarily um, I can't rivet just yet because the actual flap rod has to come off again so it's on the inside I had to install the windows and I'll show you why so up inside put the window in I had to shorten this plate <coughs> upside down to clear the window rather than cut the window down because you've edge distance edge distance on the holes so I cut this plate down that'll get riveted there and same on the same on the pilot side with my little jig blocks I just knocked up with super glue and uh, balsa wood so I just made those to fit on there and that held my flapper ons why I locked up these plates, drilled and riveted A3, three A3 rivets. 
sorry, A4 rivets. Um, and it's just click out at this stage. Plans call for 15 to 17 mil there. So I've got the same, same on both sides. Then I went ahead, I've done a primary sort of rig before I paint the aircraft. Contacted the uh, factory. The first thing to note is the banana slot needs to be on my aircraft anyway. I need to take it back out to here. So enlarged at the bottom. Um, I've just quickly gone through, I guess. I've set up neutral, aileron up, aileron down, and the flaps travel a further two inches, uh, sorry, two degrees down from full aileron deflection. So from neutral, um, aileron up, aileron down, and from neutral, be flat, full flap, 15 degrees, check your plan. Um, but then also, if you were to go full left aileron, so this one down, um, so you'd be there, and then you went full flap, obviously you need to travel that distance, so roughly puts it down to here somewhere, if you're ever at full aileron deflection and full flap. Um, it still leaves plenty of slot at the bottom. I'm assuming... Uh, I may need to may need to take a smidge off the top of the banana slot to achieve my 13 degrees aileron up and down. The other thing to note, don't know if you heard it there, but just at full up, a couple of rivets are just scraping. So my plan there is back on our pin under here. I think I'll throw a Teflon washer between the skin and this um, because you can actually you can actually push, there is a bit of uh, sideways movement there, um, and force the flapper on. Not force it, encourage it to move outboard a bit, and then you get full and free. Consideration is these bolts around the window as well. They're going well. And same on the, are we on the port side? Neutral, aileron up, neutral, either on down, full flap, and can travel all the way down. I've just got a Cleco strategically placed here just to stop um, the flapper on over travelling. As far as rigging goes, um, my initial rig, I centred the stick in the cockpit, get it vertical. I ran a straight edge across my bell cranks on the top of this one across to the top of that one and that's adjusted by, by these arms here. So stick vertical, bell cranks horizontal if you like along the top, along the top edge of the bell cranks and that's set, set this length of rod. I've disconnected the flaps, take them out of play for now, I'll get the ailerons right. So my sticks level and my bell cranks are square. So with a stick Control stick level, sorry, vertical, horizontal in the back. Not sure if I'm going to hook it up yet, um, just because it's, there's a little tiny bush. I'll show you. Here's the hardware for the flap. Um, washers, obviously, washer under the head, washer under the nut, and these little tiny bushes that just give, allow the eye end, um, which will be in there, it gives it freedom of movement as opposed to hitting up against the nut in the washer. So my plan then is once everything is, um, I'll release the vertical push rod, undo it at the bottom, hold or get someone to hold my flapper on in neutral and adjust the rod to length, which will get me pretty close. Then I'll have aileron and I'll be able to adjust my stops for 13 degrees up, 13 degrees down, make sure I've got that. Hook up the flaps at the fully up position, which will be there, and with a couple of people, person on each side, run the flaps down, I should get 15 degrees, and then check for freedom of movement. So I'm just gonna rig that up before I paint the aircraft and then pull it apart. 
Now, speaking of neutral, I checked this with the Zenith factory. So, straight edge on the outboard flapper on and hold that up. That's then set to neutral and then I marked the fuselage. This is just the initial rig. Um, I'll use the proper inclinometer once the aircraft's painted, get everything spot on, but that's my zero. Now one of the interesting things that I found, or sort of confused me a bit, it still does, is with the aileron, let's call it, let's call it aileron on flat for the aileron. I'll correct myself. Outboard flapper on, inboard flapper on. With the outboard flapper on set to neutral, like that, and then I measure it with my digital inclinometer, if you like, um, the aileron is zero in regards to the wing incidence. So if the wing incidence is X, the aileron is X degrees. In my case, it's 2.7. 2.7 degrees incidence, I've got 2.7 on the aileron. Sorry, outboard flapper on. So it's telling me that the outboard flapper on is zero in relation to the wing. That's fine, but then with that 15 to 17 mil um, step, um, it means you're actually flying around in neutral with two degrees of, of flap, as opposed to, I don't know if I'm getting down in the weeds here, so you've got two degrees of flap as opposed to the flap being zero and the aileron being reflexed up two degrees for your washout. So check with the factory and that's the way it's done. So <clears throat> aileron is zero, outboard flapper on is zero, inboard flapper on, in, it's actually hanging down two degrees. So you're flying around in a cruiser with two degrees of flap. That's what my measurements come up with anyway. All right guys, thanks for that, just a quick one. Um, yeah, just on flapper on rigging. So I'll leave that video relatively short just because I think there's a lot. Just in, I just want to keep it just to flapper on rigging at this stage rather than chop and change like I normally do. Um, so yeah, really happy with the way these have turned out so far. Um, I think it's time now to pull off the inboard flapper on, drill those rivets for the little pin that pokes through the skin, pull the windows back out, um, set up my travels. So we'll go from there. Thanks for watching.